So we're starting the day off a little differently at, well, whatever time o'clock it is, 11, I think, 11.30. Uh, I just got out of the shower. Ben just got back from the store because he is already adventurously baking away. Ooh, good lemon sound. Ugh. That is the worst. It smells delicious, though. Um, he is making a deliciously, hopefully deliciously made lemon curd um, with lavender. And he's going to make that for our New Year's party tonight. Yes. <laughs> but I, I, I'm going to put the curd in a, a meringue nest. So it'll be like mini pavlovas. And then... That's the word that I can't say. Pavlova. Pavlova. And then... Oh, very Australian of you. We're making uh, croquembouche, which I have wanted to make since the first time I saw it on Zumbo's Just Desserts. So a croquembouche, for those of you that don't know what a croquembouche is, imagine that these tiny little um, Reese cups... You can just Google it. You have the internet. But imagine these little Reese cups are... Um, what are they called? Shoe pastry. Shoe pastry, uh, puff pastry. Puff pastry. So then you take them and you just you stack them, not like this. I can't, this is hard to do with, with one hand. But you just, you stack them in a tower and they don't fall over. You guys, this smells like I mean, Yes, I don't, I don't have a juicer. Don't make fun of me for just hand squeezing this. <laughs> yeah, he was going to buy a juicer, but we just installed this beautiful new shelf. And a bunch of other things. Also, it's Christmas, and we don't need to buy random things from the grocery store. Okay, hi. This is me from the future. I am recording this on New Year's Day. Um, hi. Because we did not finish the video yesterday because it ended up taking, by the time you watch this video all the way through, it ended up taking us six hours to get everything done. But during this clip, I unfortunately was watching TV way too loudly and forgot to turn down the volume and we weren't really saying anything super important we were just talking uh to each other mostly i was just helping as you can see by me hold oh he took over okay well there's that but basically he was just straining the curd through the sifter to get out any of the excess vanilla beans and um stuff that may have curdled while it was cooking so it got too thick um but then he was just stirring it in with butter to soften it up, and then that went into the fridge to chill for four hours before it could set. Um, but it came out and smelled delicious and tasted even better. So it is in New Year's Eve 2018. Um, we are doing some stuff in the kitchen. Ben has already moved into the New Year's Eve festivity range of beer time. It is beer 30. It actually is 12, so it is acceptable. Um, I also haven't had my coffee yet. so He also hasn't have, had his coffee yet, so he is having his uppers and his downers at the same time. So he's just going to be kind of mellow at this point. You mean maintaining homeostasis, which my body does naturally? Cool. <laughs> um, I'm already... Uh, deep into my coffee. Um, for some reason yesterday, I decided to start watching while I was taking down the Christmas decorations. Yes, we already did that, but it's only because we're getting floors installed and we needed to have it all put away before they all showed up. Um, but while I was taking all that down, I decided to watch Twilight for whatever reason. And I have to go back and say to past me at 18 years old, why... Did you ever think that was a great idea to watch those movies or read the books? They are like a guilty pleasure for me now. It's like a bad car wreck. You can't look away once you start watching it. And you're just like, you want to leave, but then you have secondhand embarrassment for whoever's acting on screen. It's, oh, it's a bad movie. Point of that is, New Moon is now on and Ben is running the water so you can't hear a thing I'm saying. Sorry. <laughs> New vloggers. They just, they don't know these things. I'm not a vlogger. You were a part of the Big I Ben's baking show. I'm the victim. Oh, I'm the victim. Victim? Here. Victim, he says. Victim. He went out being so-called victim 
and bought me a brand new SD card for this camera. I was tired of hearing you complain. Mm -hmm. He has made the lemon curd. It is in the fridge. It tastes delicious. It kind of tastes like one of those lemon squares. If the lemon squares were gelatinized, that's what it would taste like. Kinda. Kinda tastes like a really tart, creamy lemon square. And now he is making the creme pat for the, um, for the corkumbush. Corkumbush. Which is basically a fancy way of saying the filling that will go inside the shoe pastry. And we're doing two different flavors. Uh, one is vanilla, which is what he's making now. And then the other is well, I'm making, chocolate. I'm making all of it. I just, you have to split it later. Right. Make he's making all of it now, but he will split it later and then do the chocolate. And this is all due to Cricket asking us if we were making anything fancy for New Year's. And of course, the bush was the first thing, and that was going to be the easy part about it, because we had basically already done it before, we just hadn't stacked them um, and made them quite as small as they need to be. But then we realized after making this recipe that we had three, no, six egg whites left over. So we decided to make um, the meringue cup things with curd inside. And he has much more prep space now, thanks to the new shelf. So we don't have as much of a cluttered kitchen. Oh, and cameo in the background. Look, as I zoom in, this is our new slash old vintage mixer. It is a Sunbeam, probably, I don't even know what year. It's at least 20 years old. At least 20 years old. But you know, they don't make them like that anymore. And we are going to test it out first. First time us using it today with the shoe pastry later on. And shout out to my Aunt Kelly and Uncle Mark and cousins Drew Payton for getting me a new blender. New blender. Hand blender because my other hand mixer was garbage. Yeah, it was not great at all. I'm about to make the meringues. This should be about five centimeters in diameter and roughly this tall. That's huge. I know. This is gonna be 24 of them. Gotta fill with the curd and place a blackberry on top. Is this, should I have a whisk, or would these be fine to whip up the... That's beaters. They're, that's gonna make it too heavy. You need the whisk. There is no whisk. There's a whisk right there. There's two. Those don't fit that machine. Those are for that. Use the, um, the, that one. This? Yeah. It's a, it's a bigger whisk, but it'll work the same way. It's not gonna beat it as badly as those things will. Okay. So... We he made has meringue. made meringue. It looks delicious and beautiful and fluffy. Um, we got a little confused earlier because those were originally what I said to use, but whenever we first used them, they were like slinging the egg whites everywhere. A nice little self-compliment you threw in there. Oh, <laughs> I was in fact right, but without further research from the mom team that I, you know, I just asked mama, are we using the right beaters? And she said yes. He made little nests. They have to bake in the oven. We're gonna make roughly 16 of these, I think. This one was the tester one. We did not get a big enough opening in there. So that'll just be one that we eat when it comes out. This is the base. It starts off as a little flat pancake looking thing. And then you just go around town and all the way up. And then you gotta refill it. As you see, it is very messy. Very messy. Okay, the meringues are in the oven. And now how long do they have to bake? I'll have to zoom. Zooming. There they are. That was just the side project based off what we were gonna have left over from making the uh, pastry. See, now he is shedding layers because it's too hot in the kitchen. Can't do it. It's tough work being a baker. I don't know how these people on these shows do it where they have to and make it. And those people in the British baking show do it outside. Yeah, they do it outside in a tent in the summer. Stupid. And check it on the curd. Let's dive in here. That is the filling for the inside, the vanilla. That's the chocolate. And then that is the curd, which you can't really see. But there is not really any food in my fridge, more so there is Liquids. just LaCroix, um, beer. and beer, and, and whole milk, whole milk, cream, buttermilk, 
half and half. Lots of dairy. And puppies. Say hi. Can you say hi? Yeah. Uh, he also has the mixture ready for the caramel. It looks like nothing to you right now, but it will be beautiful, delicious amber colored caramel and those will be used to dip the uh, puff pastries in and stack them in the tray. To and build the croquem bush. To build the croquem bush and they will go up really, really high in like a, a, a tower pyramid-esque looking thing and then you take the caramel and you, you swirl it around with a fork and that creates the croquem bush like spider web effect. What he's doing? Piping the meringue, or not meringue, the shoe pastry into little circles so that they can puff up and be beautiful. We're still waiting on the meringues to finish. They are in the oven. They're done cooking, but it says to let them cool for at least um, an hour in the oven, which is proving to be challenging to getting everything else done. We just tasted the lemon meringue and the chocolate filling and the vanilla filling, and the two vanilla fillings and the chocolate filling taste like moose. They're so... They're so fluffy. So fluffy and delicious. They're like... I don't know what the words are. They got moose. They got super fluffy, moosey... They turn into moose. No, there's no better words. Yeah. And the puff pastries are in the oven. And the meringues, we had to put them above because they're supposed to let them dry for an hour in the oven. But I only have one oven. So anyone want to donate an oven, feel free. Um, but I had to pull them out and put them on top of the stove. Short. <laughs> um, so that they would stay warm because if they're exposed to moisture, they get droopy. But we dipped our mistake into the lemon curd and it was delicious. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah. And really, we just wanted to record and say that it takes about five hours of work just to get to the yeah. part where we need to actually pipe all this stuff in. Yeah, I started at, well, I went to the store at 11.30, but then I started at 12, and it's it's going to be 6, 6.30 before I'm done. And we have to be at Cricket's house at 7-ish, so that's going to be fun. Once that's done, he will start working on the caramel, and then we will stack them into the beautiful tower and figure out how to transport them from our house to Cricket's house. We've also got to stuff them with the delicious mousse. So, I'm excited about that. I could just eat the whole mousse. That chocolate mousse is lit. You could put it in a cup, put a raspberry on top with a little mint leaf. Done. It's delicious. Okay, we had um, a few minor setbacks, but we're just going to fast forward to the future of this video. And we um, burnt the caramel the first time, so I had to remake the caramel. The um, meringues sort of collapsed on themselves a little bit. So uh, we picked the prettiest ones to go on the the centerpiece, which I'm about to show you. Unveil it. Crockin Bush was supposed to be tall and beautiful and pretty, and it is exactly that. So <laughs> here you can look and see for yourself. It's hard to see in that light, but meringues are going to be filled with lemon curd around here, but we made a 2019 out of caramel. Um, and, and then on the back side, there's a 19, but it's got the puff pastries in there. Uh, we had a little issue with the chocolate ones that were delicious mousse. Um, we did not think that or about the coconut in the chocolate ones causing uh, the piping bag to get a little stuck. So we did not end up piping those. We cut them in half and stuffed the chocolate inside and ended up working about the same. Um, so we're, we're going to Get ready and shower and fill them with lemon curd and it'll look delicious and we will post pictures on Facebook and Instagram of what the final one looked like. Um, but that's it for this video because I forgot to record all of the catastrophes that led up to the beautiful result. So that's it for today. Say bye. Bye.